Okay. Now, now we begin on my oh. side. <laughs> there we go. All right. The last time you went through the, the Cardassian in in the captain's chair. Yeah, I did the tutorial. That's right. <laughs> oh, this is a nice little ship. I like the wood grain finish. Very, very. What's the word? This is the East Bridge. Antiquated. Yep. As we all know, the it's quaint. Is ancient. In fact, it no longer exists because it. <laughs> <laughs> Troy blew it up. <laughs> Troy didn't blow it up. The Dura sisters did. Uh huh. She so, just happened to be at the helm when they crashed. You should be on an episode. I yeah, we need to go to Vulcan. Yep. Unfortunately, we can't go from Vulcan from inside the bridge. So, um. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> what? Wait, what? Where'd you go? <laughs> what? Oh, wow, that's. That's surreal as hell. <laughs> so to enter, to actually control the ship, you have to beam out of the ship? Because you're in an area, of course. <laughs> All right. Uh, yes, <laughs> and you two have to leave um, okay. the bridge. <laughs> this is a little strange, but uh, I can't... Beam to ship is not available. You have to stand out, you have to get out of the chair. And then Fuck click sake. on the button on the right. Leave ship interior. Okay, Star Trek Online. This is a little silly. <laughs> a little. All right. So you're you're in the space dock. So you have to beam out of the space dock and then leave or uh, space dock orbit. Yeah. On the way. I will hurry up and wait for you. I am 97.98% done loading. Yeah, that's another thing with the game. Um, sometimes they'll just 98.11. Like, <laughs> sit at the last few percent. 98.32. It's like, that's the point where it's actually like loading other players. And uh, it may surprise you to oh learn. Oh boy. <laughs> the, the space dock orbit is always stuffed. Oh, it's the capital city. Yeah. I mean, Earth Space Dock is where an exchange point is, so everyone's oh. going to be there. Oh yeah, look at <laughs> look at all these jerks. <laughs> oh, don't bump into anybody. You just immediately leave by clicking the the button again. The same one you used to beam out. Should actually put you into sector space. Yeah. Hopefully because if we're in a party, it'll put us in the same instance. Alright, off to sector space. There you are. Oh, Leonard's talking again. Hey, okay, leak location circle in yellow is your current destination. It's teaching me about sector travel now. After it forced you to do it, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, Navigate and then white circles are destinations for other missions. Uh, uh huh. Okay. Some system. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Something that it. you. Well, first of all, you should probably learn how to uh, set your traits. Which that guy last time kept bugging us about. Um, bugging. <laughs> reminding. Yes. Um, if you go to your in your info screen by pushing U, and then Gosh, I really I don't see subtitles. You are right. Wow, I'm a little surprised. Yeah, they don't have subtitles. Uh, 
Right. Uh, okay. So you. And then at the top, you push on, click on traits, and you have a bunch of empty slots on the left side of that new menu. It'll be aggressive, creative, and lucky. Yeah, honestly, you put anything you want in there, because outside of like... So this is just, you can just swap them around anytime you want. Yeah. going to be stubborn. Aggressive. The uh, kit readiness details. Okay. Um, the most important okay. stat is probably okay. uh, kit performance, because that okay. affects the cooldown of all your ground abilities. So those kits that you got, the the grenade kit readiness will reduce the cooldown of that. And that's followed by crit damage and crit chance. See, I can equip my bridge officers. They have their traits more or less locked, it looks like. Yeah, um, they did recently <laughs> come out with a token used to upgrade them, but it, it doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> um, the rule of the, the game is outside of elite in-game raids, which are not raids, um, do what you want. Do what makes you happy. My tiny Miranda class next to your fucking gigantic, your massive D. <laughs> this is the E. Fela's huge D. I mean, huge E. Yeah, I remember the, the uh, the Sovereign, the Enterprise E is a Sovereign, not Galaxy. Um. Right, well, there's Vulcan. Not sure how, <laughs> I don't remember how this works, but... You flew here because you have a mission. It should, yeah. uh, but you enter a mission here. You should do that. Ready. Captain, we've arrived at the Vulcan system and took the liberty of contacting the ambassador. We have a diplomat. is the ambassador's certain arrangements. On screen. I, I guess I'll go ahead and turn on game stream for your sake. That way you're not totally in the dark on second thought. Um, I can just replay the episodes, except for the intros. Resident to use transporter technology? Greetings. Hell, same! Thank you for agreeing to escort the ambassador Fuck that! The you get disassembled and ambassador reassembled, you die maybe? What to about the soul? The call to what? transport the soul? But the ambassador is... Uh, all the accidents that happen, too. Technology. What the fuck? His bias against the transporters is not logical. And that's not logical. But I have come to accept it. All right. Looks like you're... We are the away team, so I don't get to take henchmen. By I mean, officers. I have received clearance for you to... Yeah, I was hoping it was take location. a... I look forward um, to meeting you in person. Officer, because there's just two of us, but... Well, well, nuke everything. We won't. We won't need. <laughs> we won't need them. You're gonna kill every any any hostiles that show up. You're gonna look at them. I'm your body Just guard. fall over and die. <laughs> okay. Let's land the shuttle. Anyone have anything to say? No. Okay. I guess we're Stop here now. Thanks for landing the shuttle this for me, <laughs> Captain. There's nothing in there. The requested oh, but okay. now on all the YouTube. Speaking of if nothing. Yeah, Vulcan's a desert planet. Oh, Vulcan's a shithole. <laughs> oh, did I say that out loud? It's true. Okay. The ambassador and his aides are waiting for you at the temple at the top of the rise. Speak to them there. Okay. Speak to Silketh. Socketh. Oh, yeah, the breed and split. Spree. So, Keth, do we know that name? No. Nah. Okay. It only sounds familiar because you showed me this mission. Yeah, this is one of the missions I showed you. Oh boy, who are you going to talk to first? That as the aid, maybe. I guess so. Yeah. Captain, 
I regret to inform you that we have come to an impasse in completing your mission. Allow me to explain. As you know, Pajem is sacred to the Vulcan people, and access to it is strictly prohibited. Ordinarily, this would not present any difficulty, but Savin, the leader of the order that maintains the monastery, has chosen this, trip this wait moment until to changes his mind? to grant Ambassador Soka permissions to meet no. with the abbot at Pajem. This is most abnormal. The ambassador has considered going to the council to request that they overrule Savin, but the process will take time that he simply does not have. If the why Savin won't grant the ambassador to permission? His journey to Bajem now. He will have the ambassador. I'm afraid has spent too much time off world. I have seen it change him. His interactions with other species have grown easier over the years, but our own people have become more challenging for him to deal with. Perhaps you could speak to Savin. I know he has a great deal of respect for Starfleet, and you might have an easier time than he has in convincing him to grant the Let me speak to request. Savin, then. I'll win him over with my hot dance moves. Vulcans don't dance. What do they do for fun? I guess that's illogical. Fun is illogical. That's a waste of time. Do you seek knowledge of the ancestors? Yeah, he has a shitload of things you can talk to him about. Oh uh, boy, Soketh says you won't permit him to visit Pajem. Soketh accuses me of abandoning logic, but he is the one refusing to explain his reasons for wanting to go to Pajem. The planet is sacred. Our ancestors walked those paths. They found understanding and serenity in its quiet. When I am at Pajem, I feel more at peace than any place else in the galaxy. The gem has been touched by outside influences in the past. The Federation is at war. Now more than any other time, we must protect this refuge. Do you seek knowledge okay. of the ancestors? Wow, he... So... Oh my... Oh, oh, oh will... my... Oh my god! I will tell you, uh, the green text option is always the just get on with it option. All right, let's see. Is there anything here that's uh, I'm interested in? All can people have monasteries? Even a people who reject emotion require peace and contemplation. We are a spiritual people. Our rituals guide us throughout our lives. Vulcans who choose a life of study and isolation, as the monks at Pajem have done, help us maintain our connection with our ancestors. This is how I the maintain connection with my ancestors. Words in the Kirshara give us all a greater understanding of who we are and who we should strive to be. Do you seek okay. knowledge all right. of the all right. ancestors? How... Look, just let Sokath visit Pajem. Just do it. Please? Is there any way I can persuade you? I will permit it if you will pledge to me, on your honor as a Starfleet officer, that you will protect Pajem from harm. Sokath says his reasons for wanting to speak to the Abbot are private. I will accept that, but only if you are with him. I know I can trust Starfleet. Please, protect Pajem from any... Yeah, absolutely. No problem. Welcome to Vault. Do you have any questions? Why do you want to go to Pajem so mad? My business is my oh, own. okay. If you must know more, I require a meeting with the Abbot. He will not use subspace communications. So if I am to receive his counsel, I need to meet with him directly. Kind of sounds like Peter Do you Lord. have any questions? Okay, well... Why doesn't Savin trust you? How should I know? He is a small man with small concerns. Thankfully, he has listened to reason, and our journey won't be delayed any longer. I am ready to leave now. Is the All shuttle right, well, prepared let's go. for departure? I trust him, don't you? Seems fairly... almost emotional. 
which is a little strange for a Vulcan, but he's well, you know. you know. No, he's not. He's not doing the dance. Vulcans don't dance. I told you. Right. Okay. Off we go. Put that gun away. You're scaring the locals. Logical to have a gun in times of war. There is full damage. But I don't think it's oh. the here. Okay. I don't think this is a combat. Yeah. You must have to really fall. Eh. Like a big, di big, big distance. Eh. Tell yeah, me I don't catch have to up. wait for. Oh, thank God. Okay. <laughs> Oh. And, All right. Uh, well, let's Chinese, let's, re let's return to bridge. things means usually Anything. progress. In oh, I see doors. that door is shimmering. Okay. Yep. Nothing to say. Soketh, not a single thing. That's right. Nothing. Huh. <laughs> Where'd I get this? <laughs> I don't... don't. <laughs> Alright, so Keth is retired to his quarters. Alright, let's go. Off to PGMs. PJ. Hey, PGM. Okay. All right. Replicator. Oh, is he teaching you about trashing items? The replicator. And making items. Oh gosh, oh man. Oh no, I don't know anything about any of this. If I should throw any of this away. So I'm not going to do anything yet. If you, if you can equip it, then you probably want to equip it because right now you have technically nothing. I have nothing. nothing. So yeah. if you can slam it onto yourself, do it. It says okay. the standard so MMO thing here. of whites or trash, greens or uncommon. Blue is rare, purple is very rare, and orange is... So let's epoch. equip this. Oh, I see. It has a little numeral. All right, engines. Yeah, go and slap that on there. Yep. And it also has a numbering system, 1 to 15. Okay. So I that's have... That's how it, yep, like, doesn't let you... Deflector dish. You have to be a certain rank in order to equip higher numbered items. Oton torpedo launcher. Is that Shoot. four or aft? It will say it on the... Uh, it doesn't go... It doesn't say it on the weapon. You just have four and aft mounts. On your ship. Two four weapons. Here's my four photon tor torpedo launcher. This one is just a torpedo launcher. Meaning I can put it... If I had an, an aft torpedo launcher, I could put it on either. No. Well, if I had both. You just have mounts. There is no type of mount. The only thing that gets close to that is I have some a four ships. weapons and an aft weapon slot. Yes, and you can put anything in those slots. I could put an aft. I could put my basic futon torpedoes in the aft slot here. Interesting. Yep. Although that's but obviously not I'm recommended because put... then you would have all your phases in the front. You'd have to turn around. Yeah, and no, you want a broadside with this thing. Yeah. So I'll use that. Uh, let's see. I'm going to put the level 2 phasers on the 4. So those will likely be fired first. Level 1's in the back. So they level 2. What's this? Engineering. Engineering console. If you just... That is an engineering console. I don't. Ha I didn't have one of those. Yep, you can slap that in. Shield emitter. It's far better than what you have. Science console. I didn't have one. Uh, hyper impulse engine. No, wait, no, put it back. Get the other one. There we go. 
Now normally I'd right, say we I should be doing this on I route have... to the next thing, but pajamas literally like right across the neighborhood the street. Yeah, I saw that. Okay, alright, whoop. Let me M and then it just let's just do a course there. Sensors on maximum. I'm scanning this. Oh no. Oh, what the? Klingons? Why are they doing here? This is Captain Katak to all Klingon vessels. Target their warp drive. There will be no escaping our vengeance this time. Um. Say I am. I have. Uh, this, this lets you uh, set your level to the team leaders, which I've done. But okay. I, you know, item level in 14. Yes. Yeah. It, it didn't really I set my level to you. Uh, ah! God! I was doing no damage to that guy. He just nuked him in one shot, one volley. He set him up. I'll knock him down. Being hailed by the Klingons on Cease screen. Your fire, Captain. But <laughs> today is a day for words. My fellow captains were blinded by our vengeance toward the shapeshifter aboard your vessel. They have died with honor. But if I am to die this day, then I would prefer to regale the halls of Stovokor with the Wait, tale shapeshifter. of that foul creature. We have a founder on board. Ha! So even the mighty Federation has been fooled by the beast. Your guest from Vulcan oh, they're an is not Undini. as he or she seems, Captain. They are an Undine. Oh, an Undine. They an Undine. A false face and try they're going to be undone. Us, but we <laughs> huh. Klingons know better. We will hunt them down until the last of these honorless dogs die screaming. Do you have even a single fact to back that up? Proof? No. Ah! Allow me to stick a blade in its belly while I look it in the eye while it okay. dies. Okay. What a Klingon. That should be proof enough, even for Starfleet. I'll think about it. If you wish the honor of the kill yourself, then it is yours to have. So long as the Undine dies, I will meet my death with eyes wide open and victory in my heart. I await your decision. Close Haley frequencies. All right, guys, what do we do here? <laughs> All right, science, what do you think we should do, Zarva? The Undyne are a species that was first encountered by the Voyager. Catalog them as species 8472. As the Klingon commander indicated, they are indeed capable of changing shape. Additionally, they telepathic, etc., etc. So, so could this one? Could be one? Right, there's a conclusion we cannot rule out, Captain. Unfortunately, that would violate his ambassadorial immunity. Damn. What? <laughs> All right, uh, engineering, what should we do? The Undini come from a dimension known as fluidic space. They use quantum singularities to move into ours. So like the, 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 the time thing, time vampires from TNG? <laughs> Raid, much of their technology no. still remains a mystery to us, but one thing is <laughs> certain is not to be underestimated. Why use a Starfleet different. vessel? I assume they have some reason they can't they, they they can't be transported or it kills them or some shit. And that's why he only takes a shuttle. Maybe. The Klingons? Right, tactical, which we do, Flores. 
<laughs> Shoot it. Physically superior to humans and consider anyone from our dimension to be an inferior life form. The vessels are more than a match for the Borg. Well, so is ours. <laughs> uh, they represent a great threat to Starfleet. So where is Sokoth now? Computer, locate Ambassador Sokath. Sokoth is in his quarters. I recommend sending a security detail to detain the ambassador until we're certain of his identity. A sound precaution, let's send some red shirts down there for him to bitch slap. <laughs> Call the ambassador to the bridge and open a channel to the Klingon vessel. Let's settle this. My patience is growing thin, Captain. If you lack the stomach to slay the beast aboard your vessel, then any Klingon here would gladly do it for you. I'd hate for you to stain that pretty Starfleet uniform with undine blood. That's and very generous, but unnecessary. Makka! Very good. Perhaps you've the heart of a warrior after all. Let me look upon our this enemies. guy jumps to conclusions. We will die what a Klingon. Like, warriors and if that conclusion was any day. further, he'd set an Olympic record for the long jump to that conclusion, you know? Hey, yo. Like, holy shit. Uh, I present, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Ambassador Sokath. Captain, I take my meditation On screen? seriously. <laughs> yeah, there's Why no, like, to the bridge? he's yeah, on the yeah, bridge. Yeah, 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 I know. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I, I get you. I get it. Accused, meet your accuser. Whoa, whoa, don't glare at me like that. Cool, Jeez. Captain, strike now before it's too late. Where's the proof? Not without proof, Ktach. You want proof? <laughs> then lower your shields and allow me to be more. Yeah, I'm gonna lower my. Well, they are disabled. He took a quantum torpedo. <laughs> to it it yeah. the it truly is a grint hound in time. Well, clearly, the only way we're gonna settle this is in the Apochutsu ring. Woo! Let's say that. <laughs> Unfortunately, Ambo Jutsu has no not yet been added to this game, so we'll have to use the diplomacy instead. Now you can take your weapons off and punch. My concern lies in the logic of That's not Ambo Jutsu. Is You're not even blinded. There's a martial arts. Um, it's the ultimate muscle. evolution of martial arts. <laughs> Meritless, but not unreasonable. A most illogical conclusion. Allow us to examine the facts, Captain. You have a crippled Klingon vessel, whose captain has made unsubstantiated claims that I am an Undine, a species that is known to both the Federation and the Klingon Empire as a considerable threat. Thus, a reasonable consideration. Potentially, but only if a great many other factors were to be true. Is it not much more likely that the Klingons have in the face of defeat, instead sought to exploit Starfleet's desire for peaceful resolutions to conflict in order to repair their vessel and renew their assault. Status of the Klingon vessel! Oh, this one's not voiced. Weapons inoperable, warp drive offline. Wait, I'm detecting an energy surge. They're engaging their cloaking device. A ah, kill him. Red alert, clock weapons. I only hope to teach you this lesson personally before the Undine dies. We may not be able to best your vessel, but a Klingon knows many roads to victory. The beast may have evaded my vengeance for now, but I can still ruin its plans here at Pajem. I mean, already cloaked, but fire, I guess. Fire? I'm not very smart, am I? <laughs> you're, you're. Plus the You're fresh out of that training. Scan the area. Like, I didn't even wait. No one confirmed lo weapons lock. And I still yelled fire. I'm taking a away team down. Oh, I come to you. No, it's too dangerous. A wise precaution. What was that line Though voice? I That's admit, weird. I am eager to see my Probably people safe. Line. I will await the word until back the in. monastery is secured. And Captain... Let not this my mission journey is... here be for naught. Wait team to transporter room one. Mission is mostly um, intact from the original. Beam down. That beam down. Oh, I see. We actually do get to take. 
Exarva because she's cool. Um, and I can actually change yeah, it looks these like... two to my own. Oh, okay, you can. But I can't select the office. No, I can't select the officer. But you can't I select can anyone. Change it to yeah. So I can just take my red shirts so they get experience. Uh, yeah, you should probably I do mean that. mauve shirts. I mean, they don't get experience. Uh, you're the only one that levels up. Oh, oh. So oh, it's up okay. to you. This will be a more balanced experience, at least. <laughs> I have bad news. Slightly more balanced. <laughs> I have bad Slightly news. more balanced. You're gonna nuke everything in one hit, but, I mean... I I am your personal bodyguard, and nothing will touch you. you secure the area. Alive. Multiple Klingon patrols between us and the main building. Proceed with caution. Stay alert, we need to find the monks. Guns out. Hit an enemy. Okay, this is flanking. I don't care. I know how to do that. Uh, I mean, still. Okay. Okay, never mind. Fuck that guy. <laughs> oh That's no, another my contribution. one. Oh shit! All right, I got him. God. Don't forget to pick up the this uh, anything they drop. Oh yeah, and there's some crates around that you can open for extra goodies. They drop anything? Doesn't look like it. Uh, you'll see a old glowing orb above the body if they drop anything. Okay. All right. Honestly, I'd be fine if you said the loot so you can take everything. I, I don't, I don't need this. <laughs> but do you. you greed it? Do you greed anything here? Uh, let me check. Um, Seven point eight million IV credits. <laughs> They were interrupted my dance! Taking damage will interrupt most actions. Ow. This time, I'm gonna shoot one of them. Three of them. Oh yeah? That's right, you get on the floor. Get me the bat, but... Piece of shit. Take items. Small shield charge. Okay, consumables. Well? Anything to say? No? Nah. Most of them, usually if NPC has something to say, they'll glow. Oh. Well, what about to this? Alright. There's a box over here, if you want to open it. Uh, point it out. Okay, good. Alright. Thank you. Small hypo, small shield charge, sure. Yep, hypo is for health. Various minor loots. Yep. Checkpoints. Yep, checkpoints. In case you happen to die, and you... Oh, if you do die, you don't, like, die. Instead, you fall on the ground and your bridge crew can uh, resuscitate you. Ah. Incapacitation. Yes, that's what the res resuscitation skill is for. Oh yes, it needs scannable things. We already know that, yeah. yeah. Match the red ray form with the blue. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wasn't ready. I wasn't ready for that. God so, damn it. Completing that just increases the rarity of those. You'll get it even if you, f you get some even if you fail. Those are crafting items. Okay, I got four of them. One more than you used to have. 
Here, catch. Wow, get fucked. They just don't make Klingons like they used to. I'll help. Coming message from Rob64. Sir, we're receiving an alert from Vulcan. Tapella says she must speak to you immediately. I have terrible news. Vulcan security forces have discovered the body of Ambassador Oh, Sokan. who could have seen they this have one coming? They determined that he was killed a phaser blast at short range. His remains uh -huh. were discovered in a stasis <laughs> chamber uh -huh. the yep. <laughs> beneath the Ambassador's uh -huh. residence. Oh, I can't do the mini game the while she's talking. Just like hold the, nope. the tricorder up to my ear, just, you know, hold it between my ear and my shoulder. Go, Captain. Yeah. Uh, good uh -huh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Love you too. Bye. You need to be very careful. This imposter was able to fool Sokes' closest associates for months. He is crafty and very patient. Now that he has been discovered, he will be dangerous. Uh-huh. I'm oh, the no. one who told him not to come with us. <sighs> yeah. An unauthorized use of the transporter is uh, detected. So what the? It took your sec oh, security God, teams this long <laughs> to reach to the quarters. Wait a minute! What? I thought he came up to the bridge! There he went back, and your security team just went, Well, job's good and time for 10 forward. Ugh. We don't even have one of... Wait, I guess Correct. we kind of do. We don't have a deck 10! Nah, you're a Miranda, you don't have a deck 10. <laughs> I, I don't think we even have a deck 4! <laughs> you probably have okay, a deck 4. Let's Define see. had a deck 4. Oh yeah. Let's see here. What the... Oh no, I wasn't ready! Oh. <laughs> yeah, I teleport to here. Such emotion on your face! I see now my deception has been exposed. Yes. Pity. Capturing the abbot so we could replace him as well would have been oh, beneficial. Oh no, the thing on those right. But we are strong. We will. Are you sure prevail. this is a good idea? You are and the weak shall perish. Oh, you heard him. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> look, <laughs> like the look I'm of I'm just mocking for the camera. Right. Oh my god! The Vulcan oh. government is requesting that the imposter Soketh be detained and returned to Vulcan. Whoever used the transporter erased the logs, but I have a feeling that the imposter is on the planet's surface. I recommend we locate him immediately. We'll find him. Alright, first. Alright, I'm gonna do it right this time. Yep. Well, there he is. God damn it! Hold on a sec! Fuck! Oh. <laughs> you can use the arrow keys to uh, do that as well. Can I fine tune that? Yes. I don't think it jumped. Oh. 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 Oh, there he is. Alright, Captain, what's the plan? Alright. Oh, no, he's coming right for you. I help. Oh no, he's getting away. Uh, wait, wait. Okay, there we go. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, y you can't do a lot of actions in unless like effects run out. So that that happened a few times. What? Okay. Um, I will transfer in 40, to 40 seconds or when all of those accept. There we go. Perfect sync. Give me the slow load. I am two, three point ten percent loading. It's going up. It's it's steadily loading, but slowly. Slow but sure. This is the definition. Come on, cryptic! Don't do this. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. Mm. Sorta. Uh, uh, okay, there we go. It's an undyne ship on an intercept course. The Valiant doesn't have the armaments to handle an undine attack. <laughs> the Guardian doesn't have armaments to handle this. Starfleet supports the, this. They're a minute away. If we target their torpedoes, we might have a chance. Okay. Ground power to your shields, etc. Oh no, it should be. Yeah, as you can see, targeting computers is kind of a trap shoot. So if we get to uh, well, we are pretty close, so yeah. Uh, you kind of want to max distance. You want to target the fields and then you yep. Uh, the shields, all that stuff. As you can see, the ship big. This is ship not big to be vulnerable by yourself. It kind of looks like, kind of reminds me of like a... Uh, oh, now reinforcements are here. Whoa! Kind of reminds me of a Shiva ship from Free Space. Yeah. Ow! Yeah. Someone's here somehow. Yeah! Lasers and shit! I mean, phasers and shit! USS Kirk. Oh, I get. Oh, could you, there. Oh, I have a controller plugged in, so it's giving me controller prompts for the, oh, that. You can I guess turn I this, will need. You can turn that off in uh, controller in the options menu. And the debris. We'll stop. Incoming message from Rob64. Oh, it's this Captain, Captain LaForge of the Jordy. USS Challenger. Glad to see we made it here in time to lend you a hand. Perhaps you'll return the favor someday. LaForge out. Nice seeing you, Jordy. Goodbye. Uh, whoa! <laughs> nice cameo. Right, the final data from the Undine Vessel. Samples of organic material. Uh, get all this back to Starfleet Intelligence. Hold on a second, there's still stuff to get. Yeah, you can get that stuff you want. Uh, oh, whoops. <laughs> I did the dialogue again. Oh. What did the what is wrong with Jordy's the face? Was an undine? <laughs> Look at his teeth! I'm <laughs> they're poking through his mouth like between his lips. We realized. Who knows his lips are huge now. What happened? <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'm not going to worry about it. Look, not now hey, everyone gas? survived the transition to the engine update gas. completely intact. Oh, is it? Oh, shit, shit. Oh, fuck. Okay, hang on. Oh, I say that in this. Oh, uh, oh, it's up and down too. Fuck. Yes. What? what? No, how is that direction. not matched? Oh. <laughs> Going great. So that mission, so like I said, like is uh, mostly intact. Um, it's kind of like a Warhammer to Warhammer to lighting. Everything got fucked up in the lighting. Yeah, but the Forge wasn't in this mission originally. Oh, it was some okay. random person who was in charge of the Kirk. Hang on a second. I'm gonna get this gas. I'm gonna get it right this time. Okay. All right. All right. That, that, that down a little forward. There. I'll get this one too. Eventually. Hold on. Come on, scan the gas. Okay, up. What? Oh, oh, well, okay, sure, whatever. <laughs> I'll, I'll understand it someday. The end there match the two lines it's a little yeah finicky it, I, I get it now okay where are we going hail starfleet yep hail starfleet and get your shit 
All hail Starfleet! Heroes rise again! I... okay. Yeah, great, cool. Shapeshifters infiltrating the Federation? What that's the... Never that's never happened before! Remember when the Founders infiltrated Starfleet to play pranks? <laughs> On Cisco. And, and that's all they did was play pranks? They didn't actually On do anything? Yeah. I already did that. I already said that. Okay. So they did that thing with Bashir. I don't remember to what end they impersonated Bashir. To blow up the Bajoran sun. Oh, yeah. Wouldn't yeah. that fuck up the wormhole and cut them off, though? Maybe, but on the other hand, annihilating Deep Space Nine. Your next mission should be stranded in space. Of the rewards. I, I, hang on, it's yelling at me about skills. Oh, oh, you're getting skill points now, huh? Yes. All right. Well. Uh, okay. So, what am I min-maxing here? So, since you are also tactical, um, I'll just show you my build, which is pretty much the standard build everyone uses. What if I don't want to be meta? Well, I mean, it does give you like some retrain tokens every so often, so you just yeah, I do what you. the fuck ever. Alright. I think it will also give you ground skills as well. Um, bottom right tree on that is kit uh, stuff. Holy moly. Which, uh, yeah, you, you want kit? And then it's just whatever you want. Top left is damage, top right is HP, bottom left is shields. Uh, damage is king, but you do you. Okay, well, I got I got my skill set. So. Whoops. I, I hung up on the Admiral. <laughs> you can call him back. Oh, okay, here we go. A Bolian Freighter is... 20 hours overdue for arrival at Earth. I've received a report. There is a Bolian freighter. Rod is an experienced captain and the daughter of a formal Starfleet it officer. It's not like her to be out of contact. Let's head to Sector Space and find the Azura. Or it transmitted the ship's last known coordinates to my con officer. All right. Just click it on the map, and it will take you there. Then Flies you... into the sun! Yep. Okay. Yep, I've already done this game. I, I don't- you don't need to tell me again. You can turn off the tutorial pop-ups in the options menu. Okay, I'm going to the bathroom. I'll be right back. This is data brought of the transport SS Azura. Please help. Damage the message. Core containment field down. Radiation flooding ship. Communications and life support failing. Cannot eject warp core. Need immediate evacuation and assistance. Please help us. Captain back on the bridge. What missed, the fuck? You missed the distress. Any ships in range? This is Dana Broad of the transport SS Azura. By Azura, by Azura, by Azura. Warp core containment field down. That's not good. Cannot eject warp core. Could they ever? Did once. All right. Yeah, yeah, we're 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 going there. We're going there. Keep going. Don't stop for the message, go! 
calm. That's like, not calm. You, you can set it so it doesn't stop when you do that, but that's usually a bad idea because you'll just like keep fly forward in the middle of shit. Oh, oh, ground. Whoops. Uh, ground points. Uh, let's see. There. Okay. You may have to fly around the asteroid rocks to get to the mission. Oops, there it is. To any ships in range, this is Data Brot of the Transport SS Azura. Please help. If we're all keep we're tracking that distress signal. Orion Raiders, crew injured, taking heavy fire, dropping out of warp near your coordinates. Need immediate evacuation and assistance. Please help us. All those pesky Orions. So when this this mission was one of the first times we made, initially this is the cool one. Oh, really? Yeah. We got some light attack craft on this, of course. We need to deal with them. All right, full power to shield. Tell them take us in range. I want skull pokem with all sticks. Scanning the radiation will cause the wave scanner mini game to. Oh, for fuck's sake! Oh, no. now they tell you about that. Now it tells me. Hey, you got this. Yeah, I think I, I think I can take care of this. Hey, hit him with the old tachyon pulse. This is buff. Small buff. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I can't really get into torpedo firing range right now. Space is real. Gotta turn. There we go. That's one. God damn it! No! Don't fly us into the. <laughs> Do I have Ensign Rao in my navigation panel? What the fuck? Maybe. No, Lil Flores is my. Wait, who's who's my helm? It's not Flores. She's tactical officer. I know, whoever is at that console when you teleport to your bridge. So some abilities can be targeted on other players, like this one. That's engineering team. Here's hole. Oh, is that super cooldowns? No, that's, that's just engineering team. It, it restores hole. Oh, nice. Your engineering team gave mine some pointers. They, they teleport over. Yeah. Oh, whoops. Okay. Yeah. Is there a collision between player ships? No. Okay. It, there is a specific ability called ramming speed that will do collision, and that's only with enemies. Yep, that pretty sure is getting the ship beat out of it. Ah, <laughs> uh, someone should do something about that. Maybe. Not my problem. It literally is my problem. Oh no, I'm going to attack. Uh, don't sound too frightened. Ah! Oh, 
fuck attacked, was that? The Yamato gun? It attacked me, so I, I auto retaliated. <laughs> Got an Oh, sweet. Thank you. Um, you can't upgrade okay. equipment. Um, usually, people wait, wait until a double upgrade weekend to do that, but. Oh boy! I, I can double make upgrade those. weekend! Why my transporter chief beam into her own console? <laughs> That's just the spawn in animation. Captain, <laughs> I'm concerned about the radiation on the Azura. She might have some damage. I to the warp core, don't know your name, transport chief, and don't tell exactly me your name is transporter. Last name chief. I'm sure I can send you and First the away team to the ship my safely. My family knew Getting what I was going to do. Might be a problem until the Azura's critical damage is repaired. Step on the transporter pad when you're ready to go, and be careful, sir. I wish Try to keep just... a lock on us and prepare to transport survivors. I wish you just transported immediately to Azura. Oh, I see. <laughs> Energize. What? Why did we press the comm patch? <laughs> Standard beam out animation. Multiple life signs. Alright, there's a bunch of Orion here for us to shoot. Consoles to bypass the primary conduits and contain the. All right, rescuing survivors is our top priority. Well, let's move out. Well, unfortunately, we need less of science Ooh, officers, goodies. so we can only rescue so many crewmen because we don't know what the fuck we're doing. E key to toggle between shooter mode and RPG mode. Oh yeah, there's. Whoa! I don't ever use it. Whoa! It, it's very inconvenient to suddenly not be able to use my mouse to click on anything. Oh, this owns! I'm gonna use this. I figured. Alright. There are also some side rooms over here. They have more demands in them. That sucks. Yep. We're not even gonna beam them uh, to sick bay, huh? Huh? We're just what? gonna leave her here and she's just gonna fucking slowly die in agony. Mm. Cool. <laughs> oh no, an Orion. A thug. Thug life? More like thug death. <laughs> That's what I say. Oh, there are so many. <laughs> That, that ability I keep using is... Personal Photon Launcher. <laughs> I I saw that ability when Elite Force... <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! Side of a, a young captain being in a riot to death with his gun. Hell yeah! <laughs> tactical. Nothing more tactical than the butt of a rifle. <laughs> you don't have to reload those. It's, it's true. Did you get it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it now. Oh, well done. I didn't understand it at first. Now I get it. I mean, I got what I wanted me to do. It was just how to do it. Yeah. How it wanted me to do it. <laughs> Darva, pick up your tor your turret. Don't just leave that there. They'll That's rude. They'll teleport it out, and then she'll make make it again and they teleport it in. Tr transport. I'm not an engineer. I don't know how this works. I just see a teleport. Enemy yeah. I've hired. Oh, this is so much better. I like this mode so much better. 
feels like Elite Force. I mean, maybe a little more Mass Effect, I guess. Uh, yeah. I know you said you don't like to be uh, being unable to click on things, but I mean, you hit F to interact with stuff. You gotta be close to it anyway. Yeah, I mean, like, my, my hot bar. Oh, I get you. Yeah, I, I see what you mean there. I need the warp core, Captain. Hold. Good thing we brought Zarva. I just hold my brake mouse all the time. <laughs> Catastrophic failure of antimatter containment. Warp core breach imminent. Captain, unless the breach is contained, the Azura will be destroyed. Oh, okay, well. Captain Brought. She's We're not tall. engineering, so we can't do anything about that. Well, I have brought an engineer. I brought my chief engineer for th Huh? No, it's player cho choice and rewarding different. I made the player choice to bring us. God damn it! The funny thing it's is, like, some of them will in fact check to see if you have an engineering bridge officer with you. Yeah, like right there, I had Zarva said something about the warp core. Mm hmm. We hit an Orion. Oh, oh. Right. Oh, goodbye. Oh, right. Over here. Here's your, uh, tactical okay. option for this map. What's this button do? <laughs> this button? When you're in the academy, you study mission reports from the archer, and once it's the currently archer, confuse possible conduit and disable the group of Klingons who are aboard the vessel. Yeah. They seem very happy about this. Okay. Okay. They didn't do anything. Oh, did I also have to do it? Activated it. They're still standing. No, no tact training? I'm gonna do it again. Playing the cutscene again. <laughs> you should be able to skip it and have the, it happen. <laughs> there goes the venting. There goes the plasma. It's supposed to all drop <laughs> dead from the plasma because you're. you're well, look, I can do it a third time. Board. Are you watching on my? Are you watching my screen right now? <laughs> no, but I know what you're seeing. All right. This this is this is what happened to them. Uh, all right. Let's see. This is what fucking happened. Again, again. Okay. <laughs> oh, Jesus. What the fuck? Whoa! Whoa! What? Yeah, there must be a Kl Klingon vessel in the area. Va Valiant, we have Klingons. <laughs> oh my god, that plasma was insane. You see them all explode and. Oh, it's horrific. I'm leaving. people are following me now. I guess that's fine. Okay. Uh, well, good luck, you two. Okay, good. I I have expected us to beam out from the turbo lift. <laughs> uh, incoming message from the Klingons. Incoming message. Leave now if you know it's good for you, Starfleet. We are taking this ship, her crew, and her cargo. The Azura and her crew are under Starfleet's protection. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he didn't have a comeback to that. Here's his comeback. He 
comes oh, no, at two you. Two birds of prey. <laughs> You've had fun. I intend to. Hope you are. Uh, I cloaked. Don fire. So there you go. Made out of cardboard? Made out of exploding. Don't worry, here's are... something bigger. Yeah, that was a fucking neck bar. Whoa! Holy crap! That's a lot of bullets. A lot of DACA. It's attacking me, which is a very bad idea for it. Like I said, the shields retaliate. these particles. No, I'm not. Definitely don't throw them like in the mirror you <laughs> Shields. You get the message? Oh, we'll see if Captain Brock. Yeah, let's go. Attempting to get a transporter lock on Captain Brock, sir. Boosting containment. Oh, no! I mean, all right! Wow, just in the nick of time. Got her just before the ship exploded. Okay, I'll speak with her. You saved my crew. I'll tell you whatever okay, what I can. what was the Azura's mission? The Azura was a transport ship. Best in the quadrant. Was. Mostly I hauled medical supplies or farming oh, equipment. Oh, sorry. Too soon. But I had room in the cargo bays for a little of no. everything. I have one customer who is just crazy for Tranya. I don't uh -huh. save the galaxy. Speaking very, very casually like for someone Starfleet whose career is ruined. But hauling cargo is a good way to make a living. I'm helping people in my own way. You save Tell me my about crew. The... I'll tell you There's whatever thieves. I can. There's thieves, just, just, pirates, and a <laughs> whole lot of trouble if you ask me. That's silly. Raiders have always been a danger to ships like mine, but the problem has gotten worse since the Orions allied with the Klingons. Now they think they can do anything to anyone. Someone needs to put a stop to these raids. I mean, they were always like that. At least the syndicate was. You saved my crew. I'll tell you whatever I can. You there? Yes. Okay. I'm in stunned silence, that's all. We have been having trouble with the warp core for a few good, days. She's got enough platinum saved up to get her back on her feet. Base, but when the containment field started to collapse, I used every bit of power we had okay, to help stabilize it. Actually, hold the on a second. I there are beta tachyon particles. I'm going to scan. The, field, the Orions were there. For Whoa. all I know, they detected I was in trouble and were waiting for the right time to pounce. You saved go back to Belaris for a few weeks, I suppose. Crafting. I have enough platinum saved up to get right. me back okay. on my feet. As soon as I can get another ship, I'll be doing transport that runs again. I have customers waiting. You saved. All right. Oh. Now yeah. Well done. You saved I am that Lieutenant crew Six just now. in time. Getting closer. 
you you probably want the Azure personal com code because that summons the Azure to be a mobile market exchange and bank account access and mail access. What the fuck? Yeah. It just blew up. <laughs> no, this is the Azure two. She oh. had Latinum saved up. So what do I do with it? Just use? Uh, yeah, you put it on your hotbar. Oh, there we go. Um, you can add oh, more oh, layers Quinn's to your, talking to me. To your hotbar, by the way. Research or rescue. I, I guess we're going to Kasei, which is all the way down Star there. Star lost. Mm-hmm. Dear God. <laughs> you don't have like a symbol next to you, the mission in your your little task list on the right, do you? Uh, like... transform to this mission starting location. There you go. Oh, thank God you have that. Click that. Okay. Oh, we went into the warp. Uh, Starfleet built a transwarp network of its own, so... Yeah. Oh, hyperlinks. Yeah. Thank God, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Would you believe the, sh the game did not ship with that? Yes. It's true. Like, unironically, no joke, yes. Yeah, because the guy who was it's in charge about the experience. of that development area said, but all good MOs have travel time. Oh, man. And I'm not even being facetious. I miss the old day games where you had to remember to drink water and it took eight real-time hours to fly anywhere. Where you had, in order to sit down and, you, yeah, you had to eat and drink. <laughs> mm. I don't mind stuff like that. That's immersive to me. I like that. I don't know, I'm that weirdo who likes hardcore New Vegas mode where you have to eat and sleep. All right, so I uh, sir, I'm detecting Gorn ships in range of the communications array. Oh, now it's Gorn. All right, well, yep, shields up. Prepare for combat. Don't even hail them. Don't Time tell them to, to fuck off first. Just shoot. Just go. Just go shoot it. Just shoot it, Fox. Starfleet. Yep, this is very diplomatic of us. <laughs> Remember when we used to be explorers? Oh no, they're shooting me. They're shooting me again. Oh no, that's awful for them. That's to be that for you. Oh Jesus! Whoa, what the fuck is going on? What, you've never seen anti-time entangling singularity before? Uh, well, I guess I have. I guess I have now, or will, or uh, did, or am. Or will never. <laughs> they always explode when I'm flying at them. They're doing okay. it on purpose. That's probably my bad. I, I used one of them. Oh, Excellent. it. Trying not to. Let's see here. Readings are showing the communications array has been heavily damaged. You should be able to contact the research station, but the station's not front of the hails. Multiple fires. Uh, another away mission? Fine. We, we'll do that here in a little bit. Not now. I gotta take some items first. But first, loot. Loot always comes first. Not all the way over there. Um crafting items. I must have them! 
I'm not even sure you can craft yet. No, but I need it for when I'm gonna when I when I get it. Well, if you click on the button next to the purple icon and store the the button in the middle, it will bring up or an, a, another another menu, <laughs> another one. Ah. Uh. An R and D at the end of it. It's crafting. Uh, wait, you probably don't uh, have duty offices, uh, oh. so you can't do it. I have a bunch of things I can click on and they go away. <laughs> oh, if I double click it. Ah, oh, okay. Alright. So, crafting <laughs> is a lot nicer yep. than it used to be. <clears throat> I bet. You know how the wiki is called Memory Alpha? Well, that's What's an, uh that's an actual location. Memory beta. Oh. That's okay. And um when it was in this game, uh it was where you went to do crafting, that's right. You had when to actually go you there. You had to go to a place. It was like north of Earth somewhere, solar system. You had Because the, the guy there. who programmed that part said, Well all MMOs have never a place where you can craft. Because there was no fucking point. <laughs> Take Carvel and Zarva. Oh, you're a Cardassian. Is is this place a little a little flickery for you? Yes. The oh, first boy. sign of trouble is when you lost yeah, contact. It is. With I assume. Oops. I assumed it's because the lights are flickering, because... They destroyed our computer, no. and took thousands of artifacts oh. we spent years collecting. Then, as if destroying decades of archaeological research weren't enough, they started setting fires! Oh! Oh, the Stargazer! The Gorn. They just stormed in, and started They've been researching this Gorn ever since the, the, the Stargazer Stargazer found ruins here. discovered ruins from an unknown civilization here, almost 60 years ago. The Federation Science Council has been researching this site ever since. It's a fascinating find. There are more than 40 kilometers of catacombs under this facility. We've barely managed to explore a quarter of what we think is here. Two years ago, I would we found a star chart in the catacombs that indicated that this civilization oh. had contact with interstellar travelers more than 15,000 years ago. Hegemony? That's how you say that? I thought it was hegemony. No. Where we found the most I was kidding. You've already corrected me on that. If we're correct, uh. the race that once lived here may have been an advanced proto-reptilian race. The Gorn. The, the Gorn have extremely long memories. Thousands of years ago, the Gorn hegemony ruled this entire sector. In their minds, that means these planets are still theirs. Use fire suppression the devices. You mean extinguishers? No. Every Let me save on the Valiant. I'll find your team. I'm coming with you, Gordon. They just There's too much happening. at stake, and I know this project. Well, grab your fire suppression equipment. Yeah. Oh, 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 okay. Uh... When that first came out, that was an equipment thing you put on, and you could use it anywhere. <laughs> People did exactly what you expected they would do. A piece of shit out. Foosh! Foosh! Just everywhere in the station, on the Earth yep. station. Foosh! Everywhere. That's, it. That's not an enemy. Oh, hey. There you go. You have exhaust. I don't want that. Nah, it's great. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> what <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Reality as we know it is collapsing. I've, I've changed all the graphics settings. Nothing has fixed this. 
Save me. We're gonna spend minimal time here, cause <laughs> I don't like this. I don't think anyone else does either. No. <laughs> no, I got it. No, put out the fire. Don't look at the crafting item. Oh, rocked. There's no way this rock is still alive. I don't know if I want that. These kinds yeah, if of I look this way, it doesn't flicker. Through their history. So, new challenge unlocked. <laughs> oh, yeah. No. Oh. 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 Oh, oh God. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh, no. No, no, if I now it's back. What is he, what is going on here? Cryptic. Look at all this. Okay, everyone, look at me. Yep, look at me. We have helped if the Gorn has passed. That's why I call this giant Gorn. This is a Gorn Ranger, but he doesn't have a gun. Oh, yeah, he did. He just didn't use it until he did. Fire. If these are so easy to extinguish. Here. Oh, oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, we hit the uh, objective requirement oh. for fire. There's another research oh, team okay. say four, involved in a dig at a promising site. Given what the Gorn have done, here, okay. So like, I'd imagine when a message pops trouble. up and you're in shooter Captain, mode, you can't move the camera around. Mm -hmm. If the Gorn have taken over the dig site, <laughs> the researchers pops up. could be captives, or worse. Up. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. A rare, rare glimpse into my head. <laughs> Nothing there. As it oh man, be. head empty. <laughs> Gorn ships. Oh no. Oh no. They're right on top of this captain. What are you gonna do? That's right. <laughs> said do what you want mine all yeah. oh, the worst weapon in the game it's like boring. literally the worst yeah they is it just useless pretty useless i saw they started to home in on me but then they blew up before they could get anywhere get anywhere close they still blew up on you but they just did this you're just finicky to use no so you either like so your position should sense a fly close enough to activate them Wait, hold on a second. There's there's a thing here. I want this. Yeah, attack console. Yeah, I want that. And I want the gas.
Okay, now let's go. This is the dig site that our team was working on. They set up several shield generators to help protect the most important artifacts from further damage. There's a small encampment under the shield dome. Lagorn probably came in and took over everything. <laughs> if we disable the shield generators, we it's may be able to get inside and rescue oh, of the archaeologists. <laughs> Look up. You can I'm see a little the amazed they didn't make those illegal or something, or a control critter or something like that. And turn off the at least you have to mount, like, I hope it's at least fixed. Can you fix those? Whatever. You can Borg them. That's the same thing, right? Borg triples, Jesus. Maybe a relative. Ah! Accolade complete, friendly fix. Look, this in friendly fire for a second. <laughs> oh. Our understanding of Gorn evolution is woefully inadequate. Are they even offspring of the preservers? The Gorn territorial planes aren't entirely without merit. It's okay, I they got it. Displace billions of people. Shield power is dropping. What? What is going on? A diplomatic solution could help to save Gorn heritage without disrupting Federation colonies. But that's not how we roll. Diplomatic? Federation? Oh no. Dead guy. I'll scan his ass. He's dead, Captain. These are Gord Claremarks, sir. The other hostages are. Well, thank you, Zarva. I'm glad I brought you, the engineer, around to tell me that this man was clawed to death by the Gorn. My science officer told me that. <laughs> simple way to know where to go. There is kind of a path, but you just follow the... the oh. oh. She did tell me to look up. Gamers don't. I learned there was a term for, you know, gliding upstairs on games. Flipping. Flipping the stairs, up the stairs? If the stairs clip, that means there's like a collision plane Enemy. angle so you don't like yeah. go up each stair. Well, uh, Star Trek Online doesn't do that. Hence, no clever. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Jesus Christ, these guys actually hurt me a lot. Uh, I'm coming in. Youch! I'm not sure what, but damn, I'm almost dead. Yeah, I caught all, me completely off guard. They all zeroed in on you. More fluctuations! Increase the power what? to the shields! Jeez. Okay, I'll just eat some... Do you need stuff or you can use... Rocked. Oh. I'll eat some rocked. Delicious. Breakfast, breakfast of Klingon champions. Alright, now get ready for a hike. <laughs> oh man. That's what I had it bound to. Okay. Artillerist. That's probably what did me in. I think it is. Hyper focus on this guy. On. Whoa! Yep. Free bridge officers take some magic. Punch him in the face. There we go. Ah! 
The protective shields are down! Incompetent fools! Alright, buff up. Got a named enemy. Yeah. Oh no! Just throw a rock at you. Look out! Fuck! Oh man, just like in the one episode. Yeah, that's what the big dude. Giant styrofoam from rock. Yep. Here he goes again. Where did he even get that rock? <laughs> I'm gonna hit him. You got this. Engaging him in honorable melee. All right, I'm done being honorable. Oh, so is he. <laughs> what to beam up? What the? Oh, what a wuss. There's no sign of the other team. God damn it! I was trying to take One the items and I skipped past elsewhere. dialogue. <laughs> So sorry, uh, the other we team, you must be holding Sir, the, the Valiant has detected Gorn starships approaching the far side of the planet. If they kidnap the archaeologists, they should be aboard those ships. The Valiant is locked onto your signal and can be redirected to the bridge. No, not not now. There's 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 loot. There's no loot. There's no loot. Well, goodbye. <laughs> we just left her there. <laughs> You are meddling in affairs you do not understand. This system was the home of our ancestors. It belongs to the Gorn by ties of blood and conquest. See why these guys get on so well with the Klingons. Allow grave robbers uh -huh. and thieves to desecrate hallowed ground without punishment. Prepare for death. No, no. Warning: ship is under attack. It's okay, I'll fire my Bhutan torpedoes for disabling damage. Shields. Is that where it comes from? Yes, it comes right out of the chief engineer's ass.
right, beam the hostages on board, I guess. Ah, I no. got a few holes in my donut, but I'm okay. Fucking mines. Research is fast that we leave them here, sir. They say they want to do what they can to recover the research and assess the damage done to the ruined Starfleet. We'll send a team to assist them. Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. No, hold on a second. There's gas. Yep. Okay. You have fun with your gas. I intend to. And there's this thing over if here. If the archaeological I need to take. sites in the Kasei system really are provisions. from a proto-Gorn culture, we will have to weigh carefully the provisions. knowledge we gain versus what yeah, the Gorn have in their own history. The Federation Science Council Some has a lot to consider. For, for now, though, I'm glad the researchers are safe. Good work. Commander Burgess, okay, let me collect my reward here and There's something I'd like you to look oh, into. Hold on. Uh, let's Could see. Phaser the cannon of the war in our favor. or phaser beam array. We have intel suggesting that the Klingons are operating a secret weapons facility in the Haromi cluster. Um, we also believe the base is under the command of Ambassador Escorts. A controversial figure in okay. Klingon and, politics. And cruisers can't. I'd like you them. to get to the truth of the matter. Oh, and right. soon. To that end. I'm sending one of my top agents that said, to join you on the mission. see what I've currently got equipped. I think you'll find Lieutenant Van Zyl to be a very capable officer. Um, yeah, Don't I could use another array. Another Mark II array, sure. Proceed to the Briar Patch and find out what the Klingons are up to. Okay, I think that's a there, good session. I'm going to get a mission briefing here in a second, probably, but... You'll, you'll get Quinn yelling at you to take a mission. That's Commander Burge, Burgess. Commander Burgess, stop the... Heromic Plasta. The Briar Patch? Uh huh. Huh. Remember that? Yes. Well, we're going in. Okay. All right. Well, we will do that next time. But uh, for now, I'm going to log out. And we will see oh. you next time. But more of this. Yeah. Yeah.